This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Jiminita Swain. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, the Honorable Peter Trenquist, says capital is one of the important elements the government is addressing to cultivate a high-growth economy in the Bahamas. He was addressing the Billionaire Roundtable's Jumpstart for Business Startups event at the Hyatt Bahama Convention Center yesterday. The Deputy Prime Minister says the government must ensure to continue to build capital locally while also attracting capital in the Bahamas. In other business news, financial services, trade and industry, as well as Immigration Minister the Honorable Brent Simonet promoted the use of the country's trade portal to potential business partners at the opening ceremony of a three-day Caribbean market mission trade show at Super Club Spreezes. Minister Simonet told potential investors that the Bahamas Trade Information Service Portal provides vital information about goods and services offered by Bahamian business community. And in international business news, Sony Music Entertainment says it will begin pressing vinyl records again. A dramatic increase in the demand for vinyl music in recent years prompted the move. But despite the current popularity of the digital music services like Spotify, old school records are enjoying a renaissance. Consulting firm Deloitte forecasts the vinyl music industry will post double-digit growth in 2017 for the seventh year in a row, selling 40 million new discs and generating as much as 900 million in revenue. Vinyl could account for up to 18% of all non-digital music revenue for this year, which is likely to top 5 billion. Now, Sony and Panasonic both introduced new record player models last year to cash in. That's been your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Jimenita Swain.